Jake's coming over and we're gonna go to the gym. It's nutrition. How you been? How you doing? Hey. <laughs> Just soccer. Oh, I miss college football. I'm gonna try to shoot this whole thing while feeding my son a bottle. And I'm gonna finish talking before he's done. Hi, other son. What you got? This hammer. This hammer. Do this whole thing whilst feeding. Finish before done. All right. What's up? What are you looking at? I just think you look pretty today. All right, here we go. Oh, my son. My kid left a Cheerio on the camera. That one's been under the, that one's been under the couch cushion. Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna try to do this before the young man here finishes this bottle. Protein shake. All right, so here's my topic for the day. First of all, please excuse my voice. I'm sick, yeah, I'm sick. But I'm still pumping out the content for you babies because I love you. So here's my topic for the day. For a business to be successful, they need to have pillars upon which they build a foundation, okay? Does that make sense? Pillars. Pillars are the strong things that hold up structures. Now the physical pillars of weight loss are easy. Nutrition, exercise, and really that's about it. But there are other pillars needed to be successful, and especially to be successful long-term with weight loss. So, my advice is this. Find pillars upon which you build your ultimate successful weight loss. Finish it. There you go, that's it. Points for success, things you need to do to be successful. The Prince of YouTube, Peter McKinnon, talks about what it takes to be successful on this platform, meaning YouTube. Those four things are authenticity, creativity, community, and generosity. I remembered all four without having to look. So when I heard him say those things, um, I thought, hey, those four topics or pillars apply to weight loss in certain ways. And so I thought it would be cool to take those four topics and apply them to weight loss and make those my four pillars for success in my personal weight loss. Weight loss my personal weight loss journey. All right, so authenticity. Authenticity in this situation means simply being authentic, being honest with yourself. If you're not doing as well with your nutrition, be authentic with yourself. Have a nice chat with yourself. Also, if you're cheating on, uh, okay, if you're going to the gym and just checking out the honeys, that's not gonna work. Work out, be in the gym, be in the moment. Be authentic, authenticity. Oh, you're down in it real quick. Authenticity in weight loss means being honest with yourself and with other people. Community, there is a huge community of people like you, like me, on YouTube, on Instagram, on the interwebs, wherever, that are trying to do just the same thing that you and I are doing, which is losing weight. I have found these people to be excellent, okay? I've made so many friends just from starting this YouTube channel. 
that have supported me, that have reached out to me. I genuinely feel like we're all in this together. We're a community, we're a family. If you need help, reach out to one of us and ask for help. Community means using the people around you who are working towards a similar goal and drawing upon their knowledge to further your own. Oh boy, can you hear that? Can you hear him? When was the last time you ate? Like a month ago? Number three, creativity. So I've spoken before about looking for outside the box ways to be accountable. Be creative when it comes to weight loss. I definitely recommend doing the things that work. Tracking your food, tracking your calories, but look for outside the box ways, okay? Start a competition with your buds or start a competition at work. Sometimes competition can be a huge driving force for your work ethic. Or start a YouTube channel. There's hundreds of us on here, all right? You're not gonna be my competition, you're gonna be my friend. Start a YouTube channel, become accountable. This puts you on a, a platform where a lot of people can see you. I don't know, it kind of ties back into that whole community thing. But creativity, think outside the box when it comes to your weight loss and all those little outside the box things will lead to success. The last thing is generosity. Oh my goodness. You okay, bro? There you go. Get that in. The last thing is generosity. As I said before, with this community, a lot of people are gonna reach out. A lot of people are gonna give you advice. A lot of people are gonna help you. Oh. Sneak peek, Jurassic World. When those people help you, when those people reach out to you and go out of their way to be kind to you and tell you, good job, make sure you thank them. Be a generous person. And this is just advice for life. Just be a generous person. Be thankful. Be grateful for the people who help you out. Be generous. Generosity leads to success in all walks of life. And that's it and that's all. Find your own pillars for weight loss success. You can use mine, all right? And I suggest writing these pillars down. Make sure you have them in a place where you can refer to them and add to them as necessary. Four pillars for my weight loss success. Thanks Peter McKinnon. Authenticity, generosity, creativity. Community. Good luck. We are all in this together. I have all the confidence in the world in you. You can do it. I can do it, so let's do it together. Now to close this out before he finishes this delicious milk treat, I'm headed to San Diego in three days to hang out with slash destroy the beast in an arm wrestle. If you are in the area, come on down to Crown Point Park Saturday, June 30th from 1 to 5. I'll be there handing out hugs, and if you don't want a hug, come get a Big Mike sticker. I got lots to go around. Let's have some fun. Come see Big Mike. Come see John David Glaude, Obese to Beast. There might even be a few other people there that you want to say hello to. If you're in the San Diego area, make the trip. Make the trip down. Good luck with your weight loss this week. Be vigilant. Work hard for it. Work hard for it. That's the only way it's going to work. Work hard for it. Oh, he wants more. I gotta go. Oh. Pretty sure I sound similar when I'm eating. Like, just a grown-up version, though. You know? Okay, big man. Look at... You wanna say hi to the people? Say hi to the people. He's a substantial child. He is substantial. I love him.